I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a very first look at this, a member of Apple's new MacBook Pro family. This is the Core i7 15-inch MacBook Pro. We've obviously been waiting around for these MacBook Pro updates for a while. They've updated the entire line. That's the 13-inch, the 15-inch, and the 17-inch. On the outside, you know, they all look pretty much the same. Apple's definitely put a lot into this aluminum unibody construction with the large glass multi-touch trackpad. That remains the same. On the 13-inch side, uh, you still got the Intel Core 2 Duo processors in there. Uh, the big change is the graphics. They're taking that NVIDIA 9400 integrated chip and replacing it with a better integrated NVIDIA graphic chip. That's the 320. And then on the 15 and 17-inch versions, uh, they've gone to Intel's just built-in integrated graphics, and they're adding on top of that an NVIDIA 330, uh, which is a great GPU. Like NVIDIA's Optimus solution, which seamlessly switches between the integrated and discrete graphics chips on some PCs, uh, Apple has their own version of that. They call it automatic graphics switching. And it works largely the same way. When you start an application that requires the discrete GPU, it just turns it on. And when you're done with that, it just turns it off. It's seamless to you as the end user. If you really want to, you can go in the options and force it on or off. So the benefit of all that is you get the advantages of having a discrete GPU when you need it, but when you don't, uh, you're not paying the battery price for having it. A lot of people, when they have switchable graphics, they just kind of forget they even have it. They leave it on all the time or off all the time. So having this automatic switchable system, uh, a big win all around. We're probably most excited about the Intel Core i5 and i7 processors. Uh, that's Intel's new lineup, replacing largely the Core 2 Duo line from last year. Uh, the Core i7 in this particular version is probably one of the most powerful CPUs out there. Uh, we expect this is going to be a pretty speedy 15-inch laptop. Now, this version I have right here, well, that's got the same uh, 1440 by 900 uh, display as usual. There's also now an option on the 15-inch system to upgrade to a higher resolution 1680 by 1050 display. That's $100. And $50 on top of that, you can also get an anti-glare coating on the normally uh, fairly glossy screen. Other than that, these are still pretty much the same MacBook Pros that uh, you know from last year. Uh, still no HDMI, still no Blu-ray options, still no 3G option, and of course, physically on the outside, they look largely the same. Lots of upgrades on the inside, though. We're especially excited about those core series processors from Intel. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is Apple's new 15-inch MacBook Pro.